happy Tuesday. Welcome back. I hope you had an amazing weekend and Monday and all the things and such. I am going to be showing you a really quick and easy bombshell look to do for your hair. It's literally so easy and attainable that the hair curler that I use is like an ancient Revlon hair curler with the clamp. This thing is old. But this is what I use. And it works. It does the trick. So I just like haven't seen the reason to buy a new one. This is the look I'm going to be showing you how to do. If you have like dry ends, like see my ends are kind of like frizzy right now. So what I'm going to do is use this. I use um, Gizu honey infused hair oil. I just do a little bit. And I just get my tips that are just kind of like dry. You know, just before I start using heat and kill it more. And then we're just gonna get started. This is like lazy girl hair hack 900. It's like I mess with it enough when it's done curling that it like looks good. I just take my hair, I split it in the middle like this. The whole time we're just gonna be taking like decent sized chunks and just like wrapping it around randomly. I'm just gonna do about this much. Wrap it around like a wand. Like that. Anyway. I just kind of feel the thickness. If it's like hot on the top, I feel like it's been long enough, I, I unwrap it. See, it'll just look like that. It's not gonna look good at first, but it, just wait. And then I just take a like a chunk up here, like this. I do the same thing. I want a little curlier, and that's fine. I need to get the bottom so that when I do the top, I don't have a bunch underneath, right? It's gonna just grab as you see fit. I'm currently reading a book. Oh! I'm not a big book reader. Any, I'll read any play, any script. I love to read. Just like a book in general, I just can't do. Like in high school, I never read a single book that was assigned. I get bored of books, but I decided to give it another go. I was like, you know what? If, if I find something that I'm at least interested enough, I think it's because when I was younger, it's like it was an obligation to read books that I truly didn't care about. Anyways, long story short, I went to the bookstore with Simi and I wanted to pick up something about crime. And I ended up finding a memoir, which is about J.C. Dugard, I believe is how you say her name. It's an incredibly sad story of a young girl that was kidnapped when she was 11. She was kidnapped for 18 years of her life. And in captivity, she had two girls. 18 years later, she was saved. And so she obviously survived to tell her story and she wrote a book about it. It's an incredibly sad and hard story to read, certainly because it's coming from herself, you know, that went through that story. That Went through that tragedy it's really humbling and you learn so much from writing a story like that i'll show you what it looks like looks like this i'm almost done and it's a really good read i don't know why i chose to talk about this through my hair tutorial okay so see from the back right now my curls are currently looking like 2008 homecoming dance vibes <laughs> it will change okay so towards the front because you only have a little bit i try to be mindful to at least keep like my bangs like this to do it by themselves that and this and then i just take the whole front and wrap it down for a little bit not as long if you have like a shorter bang and it's like curled too tightly so it'll stick weird then i'll just like i'll take it and i'll just like fix it down so it's less curled at the tip you know okay so we have one side down it'll look kind of like this you know it's very curly i don't touch it i don't spray it i just let it be like hot and i let it sit and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side so i'm just grabbing a chunk here Going towards the bed. And when I curl it, I don't like lay it like flat. So now our whole head is done. It just looks like like that. <laughs> and then I push it all forward. Any place where I want more volume, like in these sections like this, then I'll grab really little sections and do little so that it's curlier towards my root. I hear it's so flat. You gotta zhuzh that up. So then we just like give it more volume on sides. And that's the first part. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna steal your boyfriend's hair gel. That's what I do. He has a million of these like styling pomades, you know, like he has low shine, high shine, high hold, low hold, matte, I just take a little bit of it on my fingers like this and like this and I go like that and then I grab my ends see and I smush it in there bring it up and pull it down to give it some hold but it's just like not as stiff and gives it a more natural look than using hairspray you want to get all the tips of your hair in the front and I kind of I just toss it in my roots in here 
Smush, 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 smush. The only other product that I use for this is I use um, a dry texture finishing spray. This is one that I'm currently using to give your hair texture and some volume. A texture spray is the key to some good tousled hair. And I literally just start grabbing and I spray it on the inside. I grab it like this. I grab underneath, spray underneath. So then I just keep doing that in sections so that your hair looks like less, you know, perfect and clean and smooth. If my roots are really flat, I'll take it and I'll do like up here. And then I just kind of like rub it in. And I'll do like my crown up here. And I toss it up there. And then you can either continue to like stylize it, part it in the middle if that's what you like better. What I've been doing recently when I do this hair is I feel like when I think of like a bombshell like big look, I always think of this like a little bit to the side. I have a little like teasing comb. I'll do like a little bit like over here, just a tiny bit. Wherever it falls kind of naturally. I only do the front bangs. See for the most part the rest kind of stays in the middle. So if like this is too chunky then I take that and I put it a little bit more to the side like this. And then from there you can use a brush or whatever you have. I have this like very wide comb and I'll kind of brush through to get rid of the tight curls. So you kind of just play around with it until you get like the look that you want, you know? I also grab the back so that you're not like creating too much of a part in the back. I do a little hair flip and I scrunch it and then I bring it back. You go back in with your spray to just like give it more volume like in the back and bring it forward. Our front is looking pretty good. And then if your hair is like me and sometimes like in the back I feel like it falls, you know, weird or it's too flat or you don't want any lines. And I'll spray a little bit of texturizing spray at the root and then I'll tease it underneath. Just a little bit. And then like comb it over and bring it up. If it gets frizzy, just lightly comb out the pieces that are a little too frizzy. So the back, you know, just kind of has like a messy wave. I just always make sure that the back looks nice because usually throughout the day, you know, then your hair kind of goes like this and you want it to look good, so. Let me fix my pieces. Another trick, you can even take your brush and like give it a little volume underneath you take it and you just bring it up. It's like a slight tease. And that's it, you're done. It's so easy. See, so like that's why you don't really want to like take the time to curl like your hair so perfectly and in sections because afterwards you literally end up brushing most of it out. And then you got a little like bombshell voluminous look. Ooh yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. I literally have nothing to do. Like I think I'm about to go sit at a park and finish my book. <laughs> So, you guys. Ah! Ah! Now you got something to do. Georgie, you scared the crap out of me. Hey, are you vlogging yet? Yeah, well, I literally just got done. Great. Keep it rolling. I got something I want to see. Hold on. I saw the comments liked how close I was last time, so if we could just bring that here. Do you like my hair? I love it. It's so cover girl delicious. Let me know and uh, yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.